Hi, I'm Gloria, and I'm a transformation coach and spiritual teacher. The video today is a full moon ritual to release and cleanse. I'm going to give you four different ways to do this. I'm here in my channel to inspire you, motivate you, help you raise your consciousness. So if you enjoy my videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button and also sharing is caring. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Gloria, and this video is on a full moon ritual to release and cleanse. Now this video is being produced in March of 2018, and this is a special month because we actually have two full moons this month. So the one tomorrow is called a blue moon, so that's even extra energy. But full moons are a good time to cleanse, let go. Let go of what no longer serves you and to refocus your energies. And we know that the moons affect the tides, affect water in the ocean, and since our bodies are made of water, it could affect our energy too. So that's why a full moon is always a good time to kind of check in with yourself, release, let go, and be open to some new possibilities that could come into your life. So like I said, there's four different ways I'm going to teach you how to do these rituals. I did a video the other day on how we're made of energy. Everything is energy. So what these rituals do is help raise the energy around you. Gives you more energy, better focus to make clearer decisions in your life. So what's the first full moon ritual to cleanse? Well, it's journaling. You don't need much to do this. Get out a journal or if you don't even have a journal, a piece of paper. And just write. Spend some few minutes in quiet thinking about what you are ready to release. Once you go over the last six months, what projects have you completed? What accomplishments have you done? What do you want to let go of and just that no, maybe no longer serves you? So just write, have no judgments and just allow that pen to keep going because you're putting your thoughts, you're focusing on what you're ready to release and let go. Now, some people like to tear the journal page out and burn it in a safe way, but that's not necessary. So just journal your feelings. It helps you focus them and maybe start thinking what you want to bring in with the new moon energy. So journaling is the first way. The second way is smudging. It's clearing your space. The Native Americans did it and you get a piece of sage that you can get at a lot of metaphysical stores and you burn it very carefully keeping a ceramic dish under it and you go in every room in your home. Say a prayer and say cleansing. I like to open a window so if there's any energy that shouldn't be there let it go out. Go in every room and include saging yourself. Now, some people may be allergic to this, so I also recommend they have lavender and sage sprays. And this is really a lot easier. You go in every room, you spray it, say a prayer. Now, as you're going, be sensitive to the energies in your room because you may feel some areas may feel a little denser, heavier, and may need some more prayers in that area. It's also a good idea to cleanse and sage your crystals, your technology, your computer. Clear them out. Get ready for the new moon. Clear out the old. The third way that you can do a full moon ritual and cleansing is using crystals. And I love this. I, what I like to do, and use more polished stones, doesn't matter. I usually use a citrine, a clear quartz, and maybe some amethyst, the polished amethyst. And I like to put these in a container and put it out in the full moon, outside. So you say a prayer when you do it, let all that wonderful energy go into that water and ground yourself so you feel the energy of the moon and then let it sit outside or in a windowsill overnight. Now when you get that container in the morning, you're going to see little bubbles in it full of energy. And next time you take a shower or a bath, 
pour it over your head so you're having that energy cleanse you. And again, use your heart to decide which kind of crystals you would like to use for this. Now the fourth way for a new moon cleansing ritual is a visualization that we're going to do together. You can do this afterwards too. Repeat it, especially on a night of a full moon. So I want you to get comfortable in a chair or lie down. I want you to close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. Get that life force going in your system and out. A few deep breaths. Center yourself in the room. Okay. Now, I want you to think about what are you ready to release in your life on this moon? Let the energy of this new moon work with you. Don't work against it. Don't resist. Go with the flow. What projects have you completed? What are you ready to release? Are there some emotions? Maybe some people in your life? Or maybe some situations? I'm just going to give you a couple seconds to think about that. And visualize the release. Take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, release. Feel all those emotions, all that energy, all that tension being released from your body. Let's try it again. Inhale and exhale. This wonderful energy of the full moon is helping you release and refocus. Now I want you to visualize there's a door. You're sitting in a room and there's a door in that room. I want you to visualize standing up, walking over to that door and opening it. And as you open that door, it feels lighter, fresher. You feel some clean, wonderful air circulating, a slight breeze. And I want you to step in the room and close the door. And as you're closing the door, you're closing everything you want to release under this beautiful full moon. Are you ready to release what no longer serves your greatest purpose? If you agree, say yes. Are you ready for new possibilities to enter your life? If you're ready, say yes. Now that door is closed and you are standing in the room of new possibilities. You will refocus and allow this energy of the universe to flow through you and with you. Are you ready for new projects, people, possibilities to enter your life? Do you agree? Say yes. Now I want you to take a deep breath in and release. I hope your energy feels lighter, brighter. New possibilities will be opening up starting now. Now I want you to put your hands all the way out at your sides. And repeat after me, I am ready for new possibilities, people, places to enter into my life. This or something better. Now fold your hands over your heart and say a prayer of gratitude. When you're ready, open your eyes. So I want you to try and do all four of these or just one. You have the crystals in the water, the journaling, the smudging, and the visualization process. 
They work. Change your energy. We're energy. Let's shift it out. Get rid of the old. Bring in the new. If you enjoyed my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I'm sending you lots of hugs and lights. Until next time.